Good morning everyone. Well, it's morning for me, it might not be for you guys, but it is very early here and today I am heading to the Anya Hindmarsh SS18 fashion show with John Frieda. So I am going behind the scenes and I'm going to be taking lots of like behind the scenes footage and I'm also going to be sitting front row at the fashion show and I just thought I would take you guys along with me. I'm going to really quickly wash my hair get it dried and then start styling it. My hair is washed and before I dry it, I'm gonna be using some heat defense spray. And I'm using this Frizz Ease one by John Frieda. This is gonna protect my hair from firstly the hair dryer and secondly my curling wand. So I'm just gonna spritz some of this in my hair. Don't forget to get all underneath too and especially focusing on the ends. Then I'm just taking a brush and I'm just gonna brush that product through my hair. Now I don't have a lot of time so I'm just going to take my hair dry and just really roughly blow dry my hair so that I can start curling it. My hair is dry and now I'm going to start curling it and what I like to do is just section the hair off just above my ears and then I'll tie that out of the way. Excuse my pyjama top underneath my jumper um, but I have just woken up and I'm just going to clip that hair out of the way like that. And I also want to apologise for the lighting. The sun is going in and out. Now it's really cloudy and looks like it's going to rain. That is why it's now so dark in my room. But lighting issues aside, I'm taking the first section of hair and I'm not picking up pieces that are too big, especially underneath because I find that my curls mostly drop under my hair where my hair is so heavy. These curls underneath my hair just never last very long. So I like to take smaller sections of hair so that helps the curls stay in place for a bit longer. Now I'm taking my curling wand and I'm going to be curling the hair in opposite directions. So this first piece is going to go away from my head and what I've done is I've rested the hair flat at the top and then I've twisted it as I get down to the ends and I'm just going to leave this on here for about eight seconds and then I'm dropping it into my hand and I'm letting that cool for about three seconds before I release it. Then grabbing the next section of hair. This piece of hair is gonna be curled towards my face. So I'm resting the hair flat at the root and then I'm twisting the hair as I get to the end. This method is just gonna give you a really nice curl and it's gonna look really soft when we brush it out. So after eight seconds, releasing it into my hand, letting it cool for a minute. And I'm just gonna repeat this process the whole way through my hair and I'll probably be here a while, so I am gonna speed it up for you. Then once I've finished doing this side, I'm using the John Frieda Frizz Ease Moisture Barrier Intense Hold Hairspray. And this is gonna prevent your hair from going frizzy while also locking in your curls so that they don't drop out throughout the day. And I find especially in this sort of weather like it is today, the moisture in the air really makes my curls go frizzy. So this is gonna help keep them in place and prevent that from happening. So I'm just gonna mist this over the curls. Taking bigger sections now I've got to the top because these pieces tend to hold the curl best for me. This piece I'm curling away from my head and then I'm gonna curl each piece of hair in alternate directions. Also, as I get to the top section of my hair, I'm not curling the hair too close to the root because I'm gonna sweep my hair over to the side and I want the roots to be like nice and smooth. So I don't want the curl starting too far up. So I'm starting the curl from about here now. So I'm gonna leave these curls to cool before I brush them out and I'm quickly going to do my makeup. Um, I'm just gonna do my normal makeup that I do most days just because I don't have a lot of time. I'm gonna do that off camera, but if you want to see an updated everyday makeup routine from me, then leave me a comment below and I'll get one of those filmed. So I'm gonna put my face on and then I'll come back and style my hair. 
So now that my curls have set, I'm going to style it. And I was thinking of going for like a side parting and have my hair all like sweeped over to one side. So I'm just taking a comb and I'm going to make a parting about here. I'm just going to use my fingers to bring the curls over to the one side. And then taking a nice soft like paddle brush, I'm just going to brush the curls out a little bit just so that they're not so like ringlety and then same with this side just using a brush softly brush it through the curls then i'm taking this oil by john frieda and this is their sheer blonde oil and this is just going to make our ends look nice and smooth so i'm just taking one pump of this rubbing it between my hands and then i'm just going to scrunch this at the ends of my hair just because sometimes with all the like blow drying and then the curling the ends of my hair can look a little bit dry so this is just going to give them a nice glossy finish and then a good tip that I have is I have this Frizz Ease and this is John Frieda's Secret Agent and it's their touch up cream and you can pop this in your hair throughout the day and it's just going to tame any flyaways that you have. Again it's going to stop any frizziness and it is perfect for this sort of weather outside where it's kind of on and off raining because I know that my hair will definitely be going frizzy in this weather. So I'm going to pop this in my handbag and all it is is like a cream and you just pop a bit in the palm of your hand, run it through your fingers just like I did with that oil and mostly concentrate it on the ends um, and the mid sections of your hair and it's just gonna tame away any flyaways that you have and um, stop it from looking so frizzy. Now I need to get dressed and I need to leave the house. I put my outfit on and I'll show you the whole look when I get to the show and I'll list everything that I'm wearing in the description box below so you can find it but I just wanted to do some final touches to my hair because it's still not got the volume that I wanted in it so I'm just taking a comb and I'm getting the ends of the curl and I'm just kind of back combing them and this is just going to add so much more volume into my hair it's going to make our curls look a lot fuller and thicker I'm doing the same to this side I also just quickly wanted to show you guys my invitation for the Anya Hindmarsh show. It comes in this box here and then when you open it, you have your invitation here. And then you have this really vintage bar of soap that says Anya Leather on it. And it smells really good too. So I'm going to pop this in my handbag and then I'm going to head to the show. Just about to leave mine now and jump in a taxi and head to the show, so I will see you guys there. Just arrived home from the show and it was amazing being backstage and seeing all the craziness of all the models getting their hair and their makeup done and seeing Luke do the hair was just incredible the show was amazing I absolutely loved sitting front row and now I'm home and I am exhausted I'm about to have some dinner and jump into bed but I hope you guys love this vlog and you enjoyed seeing a little glimpse of a fashion show I I will link everything I wore in the video in the description box below. Let me know if you want to see um, my everyday makeup look, which is pretty much this here. And do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.